May Allah bless us and make us of meaningful benefit to everyone around us. The last point I would like to mention this evening. What makes her different is that she is not enslaved by the adverse environment around her. I touched on this at the beginning. Let me say it again. She is not enslaved by brand names, by trends. Imagine you have a trend. People are doing things, so we all want to do that. Everyone has their hair and it comes down to the front and it's painted pink. So everyone has to paint it pink. Why? Because that's what Beyonce did. Allahu Akbar. May Allah protect us. If that is the system of operation, we've lost focus. So what makes her different is she is original. That's what makes her different. She is original. She is herself. She knows I'm a believer. I, I owe my life and my existence to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't owe it to the trends around me that are un-Islamic. If there is a good trend of people who are reading the Quran, people who are engaging in halaqat and engaging in different forms of learning and getting closer to Allah, then that is a brilliant trend, mashallah. But we are talking of the evil trends around us. A, a believing woman is never ever enslaved by the trends. Rather, she is original. She remains on the same thing no matter what. The world can come up with all sorts of things. Do you know if you take a look at the shoes? Subhanallah. May Allah protect us. A lot of women are guilty of focusing on shoes. So when you open the cupboard, you have 45 pairs of shoes. You have the clogs and the court shoes and you have the high heels and the slops and the sandals and so on. Pink and green and orange and purple and mauve. Like I say, I don't even know what color that is. I just heard it. But they've got all the colors. Those shoes are not helping them walk towards paradise. Why? Because they're not focused. I'm focused on shoes. When you get to the grave, are they going to ask you how many pairs of shoes did you have? Is that what's going to happen? Not at all. No way. Your shoes are so irrelevant that you are buried without them. Perhaps your children are fighting this pair I'm going to take. No, I'm going to take. Okay, you take one, I take one. May Allah safeguard us. I'm not saying you're not allowed to have shoes, please. Just now we'll see everyone barefoot. Allahu Akbar. But are you focused on shoes? Because it's the trend? They wear this type of shoe, now I've got that one. They wear that type, I've got that. You can operate with a shoe that's beautiful, comfortable, lovely, and it serves the purpose of your feet. Do you know, a lot of sisters, sadly, have calluses on their feet and blisters because they are using shoes that they do not fit into, that are so uncomfortable, but just because they want to wear shoes that are acceptable in the eyes of those who are the slaves of the trends and the brand names, they would do that. So if that's the case, we have a bit of panel beating to do by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same applies to your dress code. The same applies to everything else. We don't need to be. Or what makes her different is she is not enslaved by the trends and the brand names and so on. She's not enslaved by entertainment and parties and nightlife and what have you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us be focused on the akhirah.